good morning children today i am going to start with chapter 6 cell the unit of life and before that we have uh, one more lesson that i'll take uh, in my next class children cell the unit of life children you know very well what is cell and uh, all living organism are made up of cells whether it may be a plant or animals or it's a unicellular organism or multicellular organisms or it live in water or land whatever it may be the organisms are made up of cell and cell is the structural functional unit of life that means all the physiological activities are carried out in inside the cell hence the cell is called as what structural unit of life and also cell is called as a functional unit of life sorry uh, since all the physiological functions are carried out inside the cell it is called a functional unit and uh, next to uh, all living organism are made up of cell that is cells uh, when we see the multicellular organisms uh, cells are combined together form tissues tissues together form organs organs together form organ system organ systems together form whole organism hence uh, without cell there is no tissue no tissue means no organs no organs means no organ system no organ system means no organisms on the earth hence cell is the structural and basic unit of life okay so in this lesson we are going to say about the structure of cells and uh, before that we are having some other topics some introduction by uh, learned by yourself and uh, microscopy or there Uh, different types of microbes i have given here my actually this is a deleted portion and uh, so i'll straightly uh, enter into cell theory in 1833 german botanist matthias leiden and german zoologist theodor swan proposed that all plants animals are composed of cells and that cells were the basic building blocks of life these observations led to the formation of modern cell theory that as per the modern cell theory all organisms are made up of cells new cells are formed by the division of pre existing cells that means cells uh, new cells are formed by the division of pre existing cells that is already presenting cells divide by mitotic cell division and form two cells cell consist uh, contains a genetic material which is passed on from parents to daughter cells actually cells contain nucleus in its center nucleus consists of chromosome and inside the chromosomes the genes are located in a linear fashion the genes control the character which are passed from one generation to another generation so that's what they are saying genetic material genetic material is nothing but a gene is considered as a genetic material what is gene a gene is a genetic material which is composed of um, fragment of dna all metabolic reactions takes place inside the cell as i said uh, there are thousands of metabolic activities has taken place inside the body all the metabolic activities are taken place inside the cells an explanation to cell theory viruses are puzzle in biology viruses viroids and prions are the exception to cell theory they lack protoplasm the essential part of cell and exist as obligate parasites which are subcellular in nature next one uh, this cell theory is not common to all the cells right there are exception to some cells that uh, that is called virus virus are puzzle in biology that you know very well because virus and viroids and prions are the exception to cells name the cells which are exception to cell theory viruses viroids and prions are the cells which are exception to cell theory why because they lack protoplasm so we you know children uh, the cell which does not possess protoplasm in it we will consider as dead cells okay 
so we can uh, but at the same time this virus you know it can multiply like living cell but it does not have protoplasm since it does not have protoplasm we cannot keep this as what living cells since it multiply as like other cell we cannot keep as what living cell also hence it is special in nature that is what these cells are exception from cell theory ok. Next protoplasm theory Corti first observed protoplasm Felix uh, Dujardin observed a living juice in animal cell and called it sargod ok. Purgenji coined the term protoplasm for sap inside a plant cell. Hugo van Mol indicated importance of protoplasm that is it. Max Saltel established similarity between protoplasm and sargod and proposed a theory which later on called protoplasm theory by O. Hedwig. Huxley proposed protoplasm as a physical basis of life ok. So, these are you could understand by learning itself children. Next protoplasm as a colloidal system, protoplasm as a complex colloidal system which was suggested by Fisher in 1894 and Hardy in 1899. It is uh, primarily made of water and various other solutes of biological importance such as glucose, fatty acids, amino acids, minerals, vitamins hormones and enzymes. So, these are the components of protoplasm ok. Actually protoplasm is a colloidal system which was suggested by scientist Fisher in 1894, Hardy in 1899. According to that primarily protoplasm made up of water and various others biological important solution solutes given here. These solutes may be homogeneous that is soluble in water or heterogeneous that is in, uh, insoluble in water which form the basis for its colloidal nature. Physical properties of protoplasm, the protoplasm exists either in semi solid state called gel due to suspended particles and various chemical bonds or may be liquid state called sol and the colloidal Protoplasm which is in gel form can change into sol form called solation and sol can change into gel form and this is called gelation it is a tumor cousin that is protoplasm consists of both sol and gel form and uh, when the sol form converted into gel it is called gelation when the cell gel form converted into sol it is called solation. This cell jaws, this gel and sol conditions of colloidal system are prime basis for mechanical behavior of cytoplasm which is the prime basis for mechanical behavior of cytoplasm gel sol condition. Protoplasm is translucent odorless and polybasic fluid. So, about protoplasm if we discuss it is a translucent that is transparent in nature odorless and polybasic fluid. It is a crystal colloidal solution which is a mixture of chemical substances forming crystalloids at true solution. They consist of sugar, salt, acid, bases and other forming colloidal solution that is proteins and lipids. It is the most important property of the protoplasm by which it exhibits three main phenomena namely Brownian movement, amoeboid movement, cytoplasmic streaming or cyclosis. So, name the movement exhibited by the protoplasm. Protoplasm exhibit three main phenomena or movement that are Brownian movement, amoeboid movement, cytoplasmic streaming or cyclosis. Then viscosity of protoplasm is 2 to 20 centipoises it is a unit and the refractive index of protoplasm is 1.4. The pH of protoplasm is around 6.8 contain 90 percentage of water and 10 percentage dormant only 10 percentage in the dormant water. The water or water percentage of protoplasm in dormant seed is 10 percentage only. Approximately 34 elements are present in the protoplasm, but only 13 elements or main or universal elements that is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen the like that and uh, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen form the 96 percentage of protoplasm. Though the 34 uh, type of elements present in the protoplasm, among that 13 elements uh, 
or universal elements. Among these 13 hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen form 96 percentage of protoplasm. Protoplasm is neither a good nor a bad conductor of electricity. It forms a delimiting membrane in contact with water and solidifies when heated. Cohesiveness particles or molecules of protoplasm are added with each other by forces such as van der, Wa van der Waals bonds that whole long chain of molecules together this property varies with the strength of this forces ok. Next to contractility these are the property of uh, protoplasm children. The contractility of protoplasm is important for the absorption and removal of water especially for stomatal operation. So, the contractility of protoplasm is based on the absorption or removal of water. It is we can seen especially in the stomatal operation. Next to surface tension, the proteins and lipids of the protoplasm have less surface tension. Okay. Hence, uh, they are found at the surface forming the membrane. So, uh, the, the, it is forming the surface form, forming membrane. On the other hand, the chemical substances have high surface tension. So, they occur in deeper parts of the protoplasm. Cell sizes and shapes, cell greatly vary in size, shape and also in function. Group of cells with a similar structure are called a tissue that already I said children. They integrate together to perform a similar function. Group of tissue join together to perform similar function called organ. And a group of organs with related function called organ system. Organ system coordinate together form a organism. Okay, next shape. About the shape of the cell. The shape of cell vary greatly from organism to organism and within the organism itself. Okay. So, when you see the shape of the cell, it will be different from organism to organism. When you see amoeba, the shape of the cell is different and at the same time the shape of euglena also still different from amoeba. Okay. So, at the same time when we see the cells of uh, different cells of organism, each cells are different in shape. When we say take in our body the shape of the neuron, it is a cell, it is one kind. When you see the shape of muscle cells, it is different from neuron. And when you see egg of human, it is different from other two types like that. Say shape of the cell is different from organism to organism and also within the organism itself. In bacteria, shell shape vary, vary from round to rectangular. In virus, shape of envelope varies from round to hexagonal or T shaped. In fungi, globular to elongated cylindrical cells and the spores of fungi vary greatly in shape in plants and animal cells vary in shape according to cell types such as parenchyma, mesophyll, palisade, tracheids, fiber, epithelium and others. So, children here is a diagram given, um, it is uh, what you know, um, these cells we can see under what kind of microscope, ok. So, virus, mycoplasma, bacteria these all we can see only under electra, ultra microscope. And li under light microscope, we could see RBC and um, PGA, plant cell, etc. And with naked eye, we can see chicken egg and ostrich egg. Okay. And types of cells, there are uh, three types of cell we could see based on its cellular organization. They are prokaryotes, mesokaryotes, and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes, those organisms with the primitive nucleus are called as prokaryotes. What is mean by primitive nucleus? It is nothing but, um, you know children, uh, mainly so far uh, we have discussed about only two types of cells only. One is prokaryotes, another one is eukaryotic cell, okay. Prokaryotic cell it is nothing but like bacteria, virus are called mainly we will consider bacteria uh, as prokaryotic cell. Uh, what is mean by prokaryotic cell? It is differ from the general structure of uh, cells. Okay, That means in prokaryotic cells uh, the nucleus will not be covered with nuclear membrane, nucleus will not be covered with nuclear membrane as like the eukaryotic cells. In eukaryotic cell, when we see the structure of uh, cell, the nucleus is present in the center 
and the nuclear material surrounded by nuclear membrane such kind of membrane we cannot observe in the prokaryotic cell and another thing you uh, can prokaryotic cell does not possess any membrane bound organelles you can prokaryotic cells does not possess any membrane bound organelles like uh, endoplasmic reticulum ribosome lysosome mitochondria all so like that cells are called prokaryotic cell then eukaryotic cell the cells which possess nuclear membrane around its uh, nucleus are called what yes right uh, eukaryotic cell and they possess uh, membrane bound cell organelles like uh, mitochondria ribosome lysosome all okay and uh, Mm, about mesokaryotes, I will discuss with you. Uh, these are, uh, let us enter into prokaryotes. Those organisms with primitive nucleus are called as uh, prokaryotes. That is the DNA lies in the nuclei which is not bound by the nuclear membrane. Yes, and therefore it is not a true nucleus and is also a primitive type of nuclear material. This is a primitive type of nuclear material. And uh, the DNA is without histone protein. That is another one difference. Okay, histone is a protein which uh, held up uh, within uh, within the DNA. But in prokaryotic cells, such a kind of histone protein we cannot see. And example for this uh, bacteria, blue green algae, mycoplasma, and uh, rickettsia, spirochetae, etc. And mesokaryotes. In the year 1966, scientist Dodge and his co-workers uh, proposed another kind of organism called mesokaryotes. This organism which shares some of the character of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In other words, these are organisms intermediate between pro and eukaryote. They contain well organized nucleus like eukaryotes but uh, with with the nuclear membrane and the DNA organized into chromosomes but without histone protein component. So, nucleus consists of nuclear membrane like eukaryotic cell but there is no histone protein we could see in the mesophytes as like what? Yes, uh, prokaryotes divides and uh, proteins components divide through a mitosis similar with prokaryotes. Certain protozoa like uh, Noctiluca, some phytoplanktons like Gymnodinium, Peridinium, Dinoflagellates are the representative of mesokaryotes, right? Okay, let us enter into the eukaryotes. Those organisms which have true nucleus are called eukaryotes. Eukaryotes means what true? Eu means true, karyon means nucleus. The DNA is associated with the histone forming chromosome. Membrane bound organelles are present. Few organelles may have risen by endosymbiosis which is a cell living inside another cell. The organelle like mitochondria chloroplast well support this theory. So, origin of eukaryotic cell it is uh, given here please go through by yourself children and here uh, we have a table for comparison of prokaryotic mesokaryote and eukaryotes please go through by yourself children next we are enter into an another topic called plant and animal cell okay so about this i will discuss with you in my next class about plant and animal tissue animal cells i will discuss with you in my next class uh, but i will give an intro about this both plant and animal cell you know very well it belongs to eukaryotic cell that means the cell is covered with a cell membrane and uh, inside uh, the cell membrane protoplasm is present a living substance and the protoplasm differentiated is center nucleoplasm and cytoplasm nucleoplasm consists of nuclear material which are surrounded by nuclear membrane and in the cytoplasm uh, in the cytoplasm cell organelles are present ok. These are the general structure for both plants and animals ok plant cells. 
but there are some uh, difference between these two they are in the cytoplasm of plant cell it uh, consists of vacuole but it is not present in the animal cell okay right and same way centrosomes are present in the animal cell it is not present in the plant cells and uh, in addition to that in uh, in sorry in addition to the plasma membrane in plant cell it has a cell wall but cell wall is absent in animal cell right okay these are the general info about the plant cell and animal cell but still we are going in depth about each and every organelle we are going to discuss under this topic about mitochondria ribosome about a mitochondria structure and uh, who named this uh, what is its function how it organized uh, what is its shape what is its number present in each cell all we are going to discuss in detail in our next class right okay uh, and children uh, for you today's homework is differentiation of uh, this table this table prokaryotic mesokaryotic eukaryotic table and cell theory these are the only two questions you will get as a homework and i'll start about plant and animal cell in my next class okay bye children take care